Oké, okay, good morning class. So today we're looking at exponents. Have we done this already? Huh? Yes. So now we're going to look at square roots and cube roots. Square roots and cube roots. Now square roots and cube roots are in exercise uh, 4. No? Is that correct? And exercise 4 is on page. Is it exercise 5? Exercise 4 on page 34. And the examples are, are also on page 34. Okay. So you're heading is square root and cube roots. So in chapter 1, in chapter 1, we saw that the square root of 2 to the exponent 14 times 3 to the exponent 6 can be written as 2 to the 7 times 3 cubed. So what did we do, that, uh, what did we do to get that answer? We said 2 to the 14 divided by whatever root it is. In this case it's square, so it is a 2 there, invisible 2, times 3, there's a 6 over 2. So that's going to be 2 to the 7 times 3 to the 3. Okay. We did have, did have that in chapter 1. No? Namely, the 2 in the square root is divided by the indices. Another word for indices is the exponent. While the base remains the same. Can you see that? So if we have, say, the cube root of um, 8 to the exponent, 12, for argument's sake. Then, uh, although the cube root of 8 is 2, I would leave it as 8 and 12 divided by 3, which is 8 to the exponent 4. Okay, that is basically the rule that, we, that is explained me. Okay. Any confusion thus far? No. So if we now look at, let me just make this a bit bigger. It says, but remember that what is the square root of 9? 3. What's the square root of 16? 4. So what's the square root of 8 to the 16? A. 16 over 2. And what is 16 over 2? You guys understand? So you'll have a to the exponent 8. So if you're looking at the square root of 8 to the 16, what's the square root of 16? 4. Sorry, the square root of 16, a 16. It's going to be 4, because the square root of 16 is 4. a, 16 divided by 2 is? You guys understand? Take this down. Okay, so what is the square root of 2 to the exponent 8? It will be 2 to the exponent 4, or 8 over 2. You all agree with that? The next one? 
We've got the cube root of 2 to the exponent 6. The cube root of 2 to the exponent 6. So that would be 2 to the exponent 6 over 3, which is 2 to the exponent 2. And we all know that 2 squared is 4. Okay. If you want, you can write 4. Okay. It's very really small. So I'll write 4. What is 2 to the exponent 4 then equal to? It's 2 multiplied by 2, which is 4. 4 multiplied by 2 is? 8, and 8 multiplied by 2 is 16. So that would have been 16. Okay. When the numbers are fairly small as we have here, we tend to work it out. Okay. Let's look at number 3. So this would be P. 9 over 3 is? Yes. Q, 6 over 3. It will be P, Q, yes, Q, square. Any confusion there? So no confusion at this point, no? What if we have the square root of 8? No, the square root of x to the exponent 8. Square root of x to the exponent 8. It will be x to the exponent. Why? So it would have been 8 divided by 2. Are okay with that? The next one is the cube root of 8 to the exponent 6. The cube root of 8 to the exponent 6 will be 8 to the exponent 6 over 3. And what is 6 divided by 3? So it's going to be a squared. Is there any confusion? You all understand? Okay. So let's look at the examples. The examples are still on page uh, 34. Let's do the first one. You got 8 to the exponent 6. So this can be written as 8 to the exponent 6 over 2. And 6 over 2 is? Okay, try the next one to clean your books. Next one would be 8 to the exponent 6 over 3, which is 8 to the exponent 2, which is 8 squared. Okay. Any confusion? You all understand? You could have gone from this straight into that, into the answer also. Okay, there's no, you won't lose any marks. Okay, neither will you gain next time. Look at number 3. The square root of 9, 8 to the exponent 8. Do that one quickly. Square root of 9, 8, 8. So what, what's the square root of 9? 3. So it's 3a to the exponent 
4. Or you can say 3 8 exponent 8 over 2, which is 3 8 4. You all, okay, all okay with that? Here's number 4. Try that one quickly. Alright, so what's the square root of 16? 4. P to the exponent? 4. And Q to the exponent? 5. Why? Because it was 8 divided by 2 and 10 divided by 2. You all agree with that? Is there any confusion? Alright, let's carry on. Is number five. Okay, so what's the square root of twenty five? Five. So it will be five. P to the exponent? 3. Q to the exponent? 1. Any confusion there? This is number 6. We've got 9 square root A squared B to the exponent. 9 and the square root of a squared at a4 b to the exponent 6. Okay, so now you see that the 9 is being multiplied by the square root of it. Can you see that, people? It is not the ninth root of A4, B6. This would have been A4 over 9, B6 over 9. And this, of course, can cancel. Not so. But that is not the ninth root. Can you see that, people? So that is actually 9 times that square root. Do you all understand? So in other words, this would be 9 a to the exponent 2 b to the exponent. You all okay with that? Number 7. The cube root of 8a cube b6. Yes? Yes? The 8? She's saying if you end up with a number, you can't divide, they want you to write it in exponential form. 
If they ask you the square, the cube root of a square, like that, then it is just a two over three. That's it. Okay. But if it can simplify, you simplify. Okay. People, what's the cube root of eight? Two. A. Three over three is one. B. Square. Okay, you all agree with that? See, any confusion? Remember, you got to write it below, no? It's just a way I copied it from the textbook. So number eight. The cube root of 27, a 12, a to the exponent 12, b to the exponent 9. Okay? So what's the cube root of 27? Three. Who's saying nine? Tafsa? What's three times three? Nine. Nine times three? Twenty-seven. So three cube is twenty-seven. So what's the cube root of twenty-seven? Okay. Nine. Nine cube. Okay, that's a bit big. Nine times nine is eighty-one. Eighty-one times nine is seven twenty-nine. Large, massive. Okay. So the cube root of 729 is what? That is 9. Okay. So the cube root of 27 is? 3. A to the exponent? 4. B to the exponent? So it's 3 A to the exponent 4 B cube. All okay with that? Right? Number 9. You got 2a times the square root of 9a6. 9a to the exponent 6. There's 2a, the square root of 9a to the exponent 6. So this would simply be 2a multiplied by the square root of 9 is 3 a to the exponent 3 or 2? Why? Because that's 6 divided by 2. We'll agree with that. Now what? What is 2a times 3a cubed? 2 times 3 is 6. 8 times a cube. 8 to the exponent? 4. Why is it 8 to the exponent 4? You're multiplying. And the bases are the same, you add the exponent. Alright, you guys got it? Okay, Ms. Cornelius? Matt's making you laugh. <laughs> Matt's still your favorite subject? Huh? Was it never your favorite? Huh? Kind of your favorite. No, not your favorite anymore. How much I now feel? Later I'm going to cry myself to sleep. People, this is the next one. Alright, you got 
And I'm at the end of the last one, you've got 4p. And the square root of 4p squared and times the cube root of 8p6. So firstly, 4p times 2p, get it? Times 2p squared. You are absolutely good. 4 times 2 is 8 times 16p. For homework, you should now be able to do exercise 4 as well as the last part of exercise 5. People enjoy the necessary day. Good morning, class. Yes, Michael. So is it after year that I should do it?